making my life color, color, color. Hi guys, welcome back. I got a lot to tell you about, so let's just jump right in. The first Stardroid Gold pencils have started to be delivered, and I found out something that was a little bit disturbing, but it's possibly fixable, maybe not. Not sure. <laughs> Apparently, Amazon has gone to bags. And I was wondering, for the last couple of weeks, I've been getting my Amazon in bags. So it's not just the Starjoy being delivered in them, it's, it's the goods. For what I understand, it's because it's uh, lightweight. And these are it. And Andy is aware, and we're going to try to get him delivered in boxes. If not, you're, you're going to see all through the season, you're going to start getting bags for everything that they could possibly do with it. From what I understand, it because it saves space, it's lighter weight, and I guess everything counts, <laughs> you know. Anywhere to shave a dime, they don't have to put those plastic little bubble things into the boxes. Not only, if you haven't noticed, they've gotten pretty cheap with that. I used to pull that stuff out and it would be covered. Now, if there's two or three little balloon things in the bag, they call it a day. It's not up to Andy. It's not up to me. It's Amazon. So that's that. Andy just heard back from Amazon. And apparently this is what they're telling him. There's now a button. You have to, you have to request a box. This is going to really suck. And there's not much that could be done with it. And I, they said that when you're checking out, there is a box that says gift box. You have to check the box that says gift box and you'll get a box. I don't think anybody knows about this yet. The boxes are free, so it doesn't cost anything to get the box, but you have to now request the box. The pencils are not unprotected in the, in the bag. And I'm really happy Andy was smart enough to wrap it in some nice cardboard. It's sturdy cardboard. So you have this as a protection. And he also put in, which was really nice, you have a sponge pad in here protecting them also. The reason that the pencils are blunted at the tips is that it protects the pencil. So that's another added on level of protection. So it should be okay. I haven't heard anybody so far say that they haven't been good. I've had people say, oh, it came in the bag, but nothing was wrong with the pencils. So that's good. Uh, as of me recording this, it's Friday now or late Thursday night, Friday. The pencils are still on pre-sale. So they still have pre-sale status, even though they are going out. I would imagine that's going to change really quickly. They're also promising like dates after Christmas, like your delivery date would be in January. And much to everybody finding out, as soon as you put in the, you know, you, you do go with the whole transaction, they change your shipping date. And most people are getting the beginning of December, but I don't know. I mean, for the later people, I'm not sure. So if you're getting one of the pencils from me, you won, you're a PR set, you have to wait until I can get them delivered because I'm nothing special in this. <laughs> I'm just the designer of these pencils. So I can't, I can't make anything happen faster. And in fact, Andy had said to me, if I send them out through Amazon, they would get quick, get to you guys quicker than if he had sent them out, which I believe. So that's the reality of it. I will get them the, the minute it goes on sale. And why I can't put them in now, because they limit it to three. You can't get more than three. So I've got 11 people to get pencils to so far. Okay, the next thing is colorit.com. I have some happy news about them. They have donated a book a week to our Sunday uh, drawings for prizes and they will give they're going to give up to six books which is pretty good and I'll be drawing a special prize for Starjoy pencils color it book and then there's going to be a third one 
And that's going to be a wrapped gift. I'm going to show you all of it, but you guys are going to only see the wrapped gift. And I'll draw a prize for that. And the wrapped present will go out to the winner. So nobody will know what it is. And they're mostly from my sponsors. And some of the things were um, things that I just never used. They're, I mean, pencil sets that I didn't touch after I bought them. And not because they were bad. It's because I've got Andy's pencils. I've got, you know, I've got my Prismacolors. I've got everything. I've got Holbein's, Karen Dosh, Deli. I have everything. So there are pencils. If I used up all my pencils, I'd still never get to use these pencils. So I just decided to let go and send them out to the world. It's not only pencils, it's a lot of different things. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to be doing three draw, uh, prize drawings now on Sundays instead of one. The next thing is I will be giving you the polychromos comps to these pencils. I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm getting there, guys. Um, you will be getting that within the next couple of days. I'll put them out there. And I'll probably do a comp sheet for Prismacolor if I have time also. You know, it takes a long time to do this and figure out which pencils or what. But that you'll be getting also. So I wanted, I did want to show you something in the in the pencils that is becoming very clear as I've been using them. I've done seven plus like seven full pictures and some little you know demo pictures and look at my pencils and I'm happy to say that they're barely worn down this is it and I've done seven pictures now there is a reason also and I'm going to show you These pencils are extremely strong. I have not broken a tip yet in seven pictures. What I have done though was drop pencils and I did lose tips when I dropped the pencil. So just be careful about this set. Um, but all pencils can break when you drop the point and I have concrete floors underneath my desk. So, what I've been using to keep the pencil sharp, if say the pencil goes down halfway and loses the whole tip over here, then it's time to put it in the electric sharpener. If you take your pencil and you just put it in a hand sharpener, I have this one that I got, it's a Friskers, it's pretty good. And I've got my comb. Both of them are really good. If you use a hand sharpener, you lose very little of the length of the pencil. What it'll do is just refresh the tip and you lose extremely little. So that's why it's been seven pictures. Another tip that I have for you, and it's, I've done this for all seven of the pictures. You cannot go in with a heavy hand on your first layer. You just shouldn't. And I'm going to say this in every video I do. Make sure your first layers, you do it light enough so that you can see the tooth of the paper. I can't tell you enough. Those of you who are going to be doing pencil reviews, you need to pass on that information. These pencils work best with a bottom layer that is very, very light. So here is that light layer. If you put down medium pressure, layer two, looks like that. If you put more pressure on and you burnish it, it's enough pressure that the paper gets burnished you will find it is way smoother, okay? Very s smooth lay down with several thin layers underneath. And when you do your burnish layer, it'll be so easy and 
if you go in too hard right at the beginning, what you're going to get is tooth of the paper with a burnish on it. And that's the worst thing that you want. And that happens with all all pencils. It'll do the same thing. These are my polychromos. It works the same way. Your light layer is your first layer. They're both oil pencils. A medium. And then a burnish. Okay. And there you have a burnish on that one. And they practically look alike. I, I mean, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to decide what you think if these think these two pencils are alike, but they are very alike. I'm going to, I would, if I was going to be doing an impartial review, which is kind of hard for me to do because these, well, I don't have to explain to you, I designed these pencils, but if I was doing an impartial review, I would probably say they were very much like uh, polychromos. They almost feel identical to it. There's no... There's no real difference in the way they feel. So, those are my tips for you. Having a sharpener, a hand sharpener, is a must if you want to hold on to your pencils for as long as you can. I only have one pencil that is ground down and it's about that much long, that long and it's my black and that was because I broke it a couple times. So use a sharpener when it's halfway down, use a handheld to take the tip to the point. And I guess I will see you guys on Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye. You give my life color.